Number nine, everyday application. Suppose a yo-yo has a center shaft that has a 0.25 centimeter radius and that its string is being pulled. If the string is stationary and the yo-yo accelerates away from it, meaning the string, at a rate of 1.5 meters per second squared, what is the angular acceleration of the yo-yo? So basically, um, you know, if you look at this unit right here, that unit is linear, right? So when we're thinking about how do linear accelerations, you know, relate to angular accelerations, you have to remember, generally speaking, that the linear acceleration that's given will normally be the tangential acceleration that the rotating body is experiencing, okay? The tangential acceleration at a distance relative to the center of rotation, that is. All right, so being that that's the case and that's the general setup, um, here's, here's our little picture. So we know the tangential acceleration, we know the radius of this center shaft, so we wanna find the angular acceleration. We need a formula over here on the right-hand side. There it is, bada bing, bada boom, this one's easy. So we got uh, tangential acceleration is equal to the radius multiplied by angular acceleration, so angular acceleration is simply tangential acceleration over the radius. If we plug in the values now, it's gonna be 1.50 divided by our uh, 0.25, that's in centimeters, right? You gotta be careful, convert that into meters, okay? So 0.00. .00 two five zero meters you don't need the extra zero out there uh, so 1.5 divided by 0 0.0025 and it's 600 all right so this is 600 radians per second squared that takes care of the angular acceleration let's take a look at now letter b what is the angular velocity after 0.75 seconds if it starts from rest all right so now when you're thinking about this problem, it helps to think about you know, the equations for rotational kinematics as analogs to the equations um, of linear kinematics. So what do we know? We know the angular acceleration. We just found it, 600 radians per second squared. We also know it says, what is the angular velocity after a certain time has passed? So that means they want us to find the final angular velocity. They tell us that it starts from rest, therefore the initial angular velocity is zero. And they also tell us a time of 0 0.750 seconds. So think about it. Acceleration, final velocity, initial velocity, and time. What equation do you know of back from linear kinematics? You're probably thinking, oh, right, I remember this. So this all this is is just going to simply be the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus acceleration times time. And I can find this by knowing all three of these things. And yes, that is correct. The only difference is that this is just rotational, but it's the same formula, right? Instead of using the linear variables, we use the angular ones now. So this is the angular velocity, the final angular velocity is equal to the initial angular velocity, multi uh, not multiplied, plus the angular acceleration times time. And that's it. So now all we have to do is just plug in the values. So this was zero. The, I'm gonna move this over just a slight bit. The uh, angular acceleration we found was 600. And then the time they told us 0.75 seconds, right? I know there's another zero out there, whatever. So 600 times 0.75 and we get 450, right? So 450, 450 and that is radians per second. Okay, so that takes care of letter B, easy. And now letter C. It says the outside radius of the yo-yo is 3.5 centimeters. What is the tangential acceleration of a point on its edge? Okay, so um, here is our yo-yo. I detailed the center shaft at the beginning. Now the yo-yo is a little bigger, um, if you're familiar with yo-yos. Um, I, don't, I don't mean the, the person being a yo-yo, all right? So yo-yo kind of looks like this, right? Where the outer ring is wider than the inner center shaft where the string is, you know, round up on. So what they want to do is they want us to find the, the tangential acceleration on, out, on this outer edge, right? So the radius here, I'll draw it down here. So this is the radius. Uh, they told us it was 3.5 centimeters. 
Okay. And they also want us to find the angular, no, excuse me, the linear, uh, tangential, okay, acceleration. So both the angular accelerations, no matter where you are on this rotating body, are the same. Okay. And let, let's see if that, let's see if that kind of makes sense, right? If you notice here, let, let's take a, let's take a circle and let's take another circle. All right. So now pretend we're going to talk about this a point here extending on out and then a point here extending on out. Okay. No matter whether you're on the first circle here or the second part of the circle. I mean, you can consider this actually one whole circle and we're just at two points. At one point we're on the edge and at the other point we're some point in the middle between the edge and the center. Okay. Now, if you notice to go from this, let's pretend the, the, this wheel is rotating this way. All right. If you notice to go from this location to this location takes the same amount of time as it would to go from this location to that location, right? It's going to take the same amount of time regardless. I mean, I think that should make intuitive sense, right? If you pretend, if you pretend you're on this point, if you're here and somebody else is here and you start the clock and this disc rotates, if you stop the clock, then at, let's say a location over here, you are going to be here and you're, whoops, sorry, must be very important today. Um, and your friend or whom, whomever else is on this thing will end here, right? At that same time. But what's different? Well, the total distance you both traveled, right? You traveled this little distance, this part of the circumference, and your friend traveled this distance in the same time, right? So we should expect things to be different, okay? Right? If you think about it, both the final angular velocities will be different and both the angular accelerations, excuse me, both the tangential accelerations will also be different. And I think I just said angular velocity before. I didn't mean that. If I said that, I think I did. But what I meant was the tangential velocity here will be different and the tangential uh, acceleration will be different. Why? You might say, well, isn't the angular different too? No, because look, you both traveled this theta. That's the angle you both traveled. Moving from here to here, you have to travel over this angle. Moving from here to here, you have to travel over that same angle. So your angular velocities and angular accelerations are the same, but your tangential velocities and your tangential accelerations will be different at the end. Okay, why is that the case? I mean, not why is that the case, I just explained that intuitively, but in terms of thinking about this uh, through formulas, look at the formula over here, right? It tells us that the tangential acceleration is a function of the radius multiplied by the angular acceleration, right? I'm gonna write it over here again. So the tangential acceleration is equal to the radius multiplied by the angular acceleration. I just, we just found that this thing stays the same, regardless of where you are on this rotating disc. But what does change is the radius or the location, the relative distance between a location and the center. This would be considered R in the first case. And then this would be considered R in the second case. So R has changed. The bigger R gets, the bigger A, T gets the bigger the tangential acceleration. All right. So hopefully that makes sense now. So basically how to solve this problem, we need this formula and we just now plug in the radius, which was 0 0.035 meters, right? I converted that into just going back, converted that into uh, meters. It was in, originally in centimeters. Then multiplied by the angular acceleration, which we found before was 600. So here we go. All right. So tangential acceleration now will be 0 0.035 times 600, 21. Okay, 21.0 meters per second squared. And that takes care of that. All right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. 
I hope this video helped. If it did, please help us out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. That would be awesome. And uh, even a bigger thing would be tell your classmates, tell your friends, tell, hey, anybody who's going to listen, call, you know, call that grandma you haven't spoken to in a while or whatever. Um, let her know what we're doing. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Well, I'll help you with a video at least. Take care.